In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the point of sales software system to manage the restaurant business. And I'm going to introduce you with the software that my company has developed and sold it to many restaurants in different countries. And we're going to learn by using that software and it's called Retail Master Post. And you're welcome to use this software. If you're going to use it, then you, you can just let me know and I can uh, let you use it for free for a year and after we can discuss about the uh, subscription fee that we are collecting from uh, the restaurant but anyway we're not talking about the um, the software subscription fee and etc and we're not even just to learn the point of sales system in this course so let's jump into it right away so it's called Retail Master Post and the way you're going to use it is um, you have to register it first, but I've already registered it. So I already have the username and password. So what I need to do is I just need to log in. So once I log in and there are four main functions uh, in this particular software and one is the point of sales where you record all the transactions. So this is a very new user, so we don't have anything here. But don't worry, we're going to create um, the table, menus, and we're going to create the inventory and etc. And the second is the sale dashboards. This is where you can see the sales information and all the sales data. And you can even export Excel file uh, from here. And the third is the inventory management. This is where you keep your inventories and track the inventory as the sale takes place on a timely basis and this is built on the cloud-based system so it's real time and the data is updated in every single second so you get to see the sale data um, in real time basis and the last one is the setting and uh, this is where you can connect with the printer and you can write your store name, you can write your shop address and you can input the text and etc. So we're going to uh, get into it in detail later on. So first of all, we're going to go into the point of sales and here you can uh, put this as a table. If you are running the full dining restaurants, or if you're running just a fast food restaurant then you can keep the customer in our case let's try to create a setting uh, for the food dining restaurant so first we need a table so if we are to use uh, table one two three then we can create as a table one and we can select the icon that we like and this is table two and depending on how many people can see it, you can select the icons here. So after we create the table and uh, we can create a menu. So here, if we click on menus, as you can see, there is none for, for now. So we can create the menu here. And there are two different types of menu. One is a single menu where you sell uh, on a single item basis. And another is the set menu where you bundle it into a combo set and you sell it as a combo or as a set menu so here we're going to create the uh, single menu so we're going to name it uh, let's say beef burger here we we're going to create a category and the category will appear on the left and if we put any menu in that category and we can easily find it uh, by clicking in the category so here we're going to create as the um, burger category so in order to create it you have to click um, the next so that as you can see if you create a next then uh, there is a message showing that a category is added and here we we're going to put the selling price so we're going to put uh, ten dollars and for cost to make this burger let's say we have four dollars of cost for this uh, burger so the codes you can just put any name but if you have a lot of raw materials you may want to do the running number for the code so for the time being we're going to just use one two three five and here we can upload the image and see um, if we have any good images so uh, yeah there is a burger so this is where you upload the image and you click ok and there is the menu that 
we just created and if we want to create another menus and uh, we just simply let's try to select the uh, photo let's say we we create the sandwich so here sandwich we put the name we're going to put this sandwich into the burger category so what we need to do is we just need to type bu and there is a suggestion uh, popping up so we just need to select this suggestion and we're going to put the price for sandwich five dollars uh, remember that you don't need to put any dollar signs or any currency signs here you just put the number and here the item cost is uh, two dollars and the codes we're going to just put two four five and then we're going to click OK. So once we have this uh, menu and we have this table, so we're going to start making the sales. So the way we do it is by selecting the table. Let's say customer go and sit at the table and they order beef burger and sandwich. So as you click on it, you can see the quantity increase on, on this menu picture. And also on the right side, quantity increases, and then it also calculates the amount uh, that is receivable. So once we select the menu, if it's a full dining service, we're gonna send this to the kitchen first. So the way to do is we're gonna click order, and once we click this order, there there is another system uh, which is called kitchen display system, and that will display the order on the screen but if you don't want to use that kind of system you can simply connect with the printer and the printer will print this order for you but for now let's try to use the kds so in order to use the kds we're going to find the kds app of this retail master and we're going to log in with the same username and password so that it it's connected to each other and it will receive the order so here we're going to input the user name and then we're going to input the password so as you can see we just click the order and there is an order coming up here on the kds or kitchen display system so once the kitchen has already made it or has already serve to the customer so we can just simply click done uh, in the kitchen and then the kitchen uh, chef they can look into the detail again by clicking the view so what the items that they've already made so let's go back to the point pause so after we submit the order and customer come and ask for the bill then we just simply click confirm and there is a receivable and if customer pay $50, then the change will be five. So here, if there is no promotion or there is no discount to be applied, we just simply click settlement OK, and then this transaction is done. So we can go and look at this uh, bills in the bill session, and we can click it, and then we can see the details of the bill uh, that we just created. And on the other hand, we can go and look at the sale dashboard and we can see that the sales and profits bill information and payment method and sales by item sales by ca category etc so this is basically the sale dashboard where the shop manager the restaurant manager can look into it and analyze it for um, better understanding of the store performance so if we want the detail of this sales data we can simply click export and then the export will be saved into the download folder of this device so basically that's uh the pause and if we're going to try it again and we're going to confirm it and here we can use many different promotions so if we are to use the discounts promotions let's say we give ten dollars discounts then the receivable amount will be reduced or if we reduce it or if we give discounts in percentage that will also uh, reduce the total receivable and on the other hand if customer pays through credit card so we can simply uh, click on the credit cards and we can put the uh, reference number the approval codes of the credit cards and the amount 
uh, paid by the customer. So this will complete the transaction. And in the sale dashboard, then we can see there are two different payment methods. One is the cash and another is the credit or debit card there. Another important function for the restaurant is that customers should be able to order as many times as they want and pay all at once after they finish dining. So for that, this software also allows the cashier to record the transaction and um, check out all at once. So the way to do it is basically click on the table and let's say customer order one beef burger and sandwich and then they haven't paid yet. So what we do is we click on confirm. So that makes this transaction stay in the bill but it's not completed yet it's still pending and we can add the item as many times as we want for example here customer order one burger and one sandwich so if they order more let's say two two more burgers and one sandwich so totally that will be 25 dollars so if customer still hasn't paid yet or you can still click confirm and then go back and click on this bill anytime we we want and then as you can see the quantity is updated and when customer ask for the bill what we do is we simply click confirm and then this will accumulate all the previous order that customer order uh, for the table and if they want to uh, make the payment or if they want to check out the bill then we simply click on confirm and we get this total which is accumulated of the previous order so after that, we can just simply click OK. So and then table is gone. If customer order and they haven't paid yet and the bill will be here in the pending and then on this table, you cannot select it. Right. Table is already occupied. So what we need is we need to select other table instead to do that. So that's that's also uh, important functions uh, for the restaurants, especially the food dining one. So that's basically the point of sales function and the sale dashboard. So next we're going to talk about the inventory management. So here uh, it gets a little bit complicated because of the fact that we have to integrate or we have to set the bill of materials into each menu that we just created. So we have two menus. One is beef burger and the other is sandwich. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the raw materials so that we can keep track of the raw materials remaining on a daily basis or on a timely basis. So here the finished goods are already created as we created the uh, menu. And what we need to do is we need to add the raw materials here. So in order to add the raw materials, we have to go and select the raw material and click on go. So in order to make the burger or in order to make the sandwich, we need the raw materials. So what we need to do is we're going to add the raw materials for the burger first. So in order to make the burger, we need the bun, we need the patty, we need the other ingredients, we need the sauce. So what we need to do is we need to create each and every single item so that once every burger is sold, raw materials or the quantity of the raw materials will be deducted automatically and we will be able to track the stock on a timely basis to make sure that we can keep track of the inventory and to make sure that the stock are not running out so that's the objective of keeping the inventory or managing the inventory for better efficiency so in this case we, we're going to add the raw materials for the burger, let's say we need the burn. And first, the first time we add the burn, we add 100 quantity. And for the burn is pieces. So we put the pieces and we keep it in the location A. So we add the raw materials here. The bun is there, quantity is there. And second, we need the patty to make the burger. And, uh, or oh, patty. Here is the code and here is the name. Let's say beef patty. And quantity again the same and unit also PC and the location. Let's say refrigerator B and once click confirm then we're going to have the raw material. So if we are to connect this raw materials with the finished goods, then every single time when the burger is sold, 
the raw material will be deducted. So the way we're going to do it is that, for example, here we have beef burger. So we're going to set up the bill of materials for this burger. So every single time we sell the burger, there will be deduction for one burger. And there will be deduction for one patty. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to input the amount of deduction here and we're going to click OK. And once it's added, then we just need to confirm and then the beef burger, the bill of material is already set up. So this finished goods or this menu is already connected to the raw materials, which is bun and beef patty. So if we are to sell one or let's say two burger, then there will be deduction for the bun and the patty in this inventory management. So we're going to try it and we're going to complete this transaction. So we, we already sold two burgers. So that means there should be deduction for this inventory. So we should go and check at the raw materials. So earlier, we add raw materials at 100 each. So now the quantity remaining is 98. So that means the deduction is working and we can keep track of this inventory to make sure that we have all the inventories that we need to be able to serve the customer demand on a daily basis. So here the beef patty is also 98. So the way we can update the stock is basically just add the quantity here and then the stock will be updated. And when any single item is sold, then there will be deduction of that particular menu's raw materials. That's basically how the inventory management works. So the last thing here, it's a setting where you connect the printer. And here, if we are to connect uh, any printer, we just put the name. For example, this printer is for cashier. Then we can just simply uh, select the type of printer. For example, if we have the USB printer, we choose a USB printer and then there will be two different size of uh, paper for the receipt printing or the bill, bill printing. Then we can select the, the printer size or the paper size. And here we can select whether to print this printer, uh, the bill or the order. So if we are to let this printer print both order the order and the bill then we can select all of this or if we would just want this printer to print the receipt or the bills then we disable this and then we click save uh, because we we don't connect any usb printer here so that's why it show details missing so once we have this printer connected then it will be successful and then you'll be able to print a bill another thing is um, here we have the value added tax and we can specify the amount. For example, if we are to specify 5% and uh, here is the store name for us. It's a birdie, birdie burger and shop is in Bangkok. And here, thank you message. Then this information will be printed out in the bill or if we have the logo, then we just upload the logo here. Then we can simply print this logo. And the way to do it is basically we enable all this and then we click save. And after that, every single time we create a transaction, the bill will be printed uh, with the details that we input here. Uh, that's basically how this uh, point of sale system works and you can try it yourself uh, by downloading it from the Google Play Store. You can just search Retail Master Post and then you can see this uh, app Then you can just install it and you can try it on your own. And if you don't understand anything, you can just ask me anytime in a Q&A session. So I'll see you in the next video.